Welcome back to the Nigeria 2015 studio in, uh, well, on Channels Television here in Lagos. And of course, uh, we are keeping track of uh, uh, the 2015 general elections, whether the voting has been concluded or not. Of course, ANEC has actually extended uh, voting in some places till uh, tomorrow morning. But of course, we also have uh, questions about whether elections held in some places or not. Well, before the break and uh, just before we also analyzed the issue at stake, we spoke with the governor of uh, River State, Right Honorable uh, Chibike Amechi, who insisted that voting did not take place. Well, like I said, that's just one side of the story. But uh, we are also being joined now on the line from uh, Port Harcourt, the River State capital, by the chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Prince Felix Obua. Hello, uh, Prince Obua. Yeah, good morning. Well, uh, good morning to you, and uh, nice to hear from you again. Well, quick one here. Did uh, voting take place in River State or not? Voting took place in River State. Well, we heard from uh, the governor uh, earlier on that uh, in so many of the polling units, maybe in over 20 local government areas, there were no result sheets, and so voting could not take place. Well, that cannot be differentiated. Voting took place in virtually all the whole um, area. Just very few words. The swear voting did not take place because of uh, maybe some disturbances from the APC and their cohorts. But actually, the ANEC did their very best to make sure they give a level playing ground to everybody. The police also did their best. As a matter of fact, the tribal areas, everyone thought that there could have been war. But actually, my local government, how about even that local government area? We had so many mayhem that been caused by the opposition parties. But at the end, it was completely peaceful. All oh, the 17 world. But that was provided, although the carrying machine did not work perfectly in so many of the units. But at the end, everybody voted, and the election was peaceful. We saw the uh, governor in a video at his own polling unit um, actually saying that he will not agree to be accredited unless he will be shown result sheets. And based on what we saw, it looks like those result sheets were not actually available. The result sheets were available. Like you can see, the one the governor was claiming that there was no result sheet. The result sheet was displayed. He was impatient. Actually, he didn't even want to do election. They wanted to create a scene, create a co confusion, because they weren't ready for the election. They only wanted to create problems. But the people are fed up with the well, so uh, they decided to come all out in mass to defend their votes. That is why, in spite of all the actives exhibited by the opposition party to make sure that the election did not fully happen, we stood our ground to make sure the election won because the people want change. Well, I Prince, Prince Obua, uh, come to think of it, of course, you actually talked about uh, some problems here and there about uh, the. Um, card readers not uh, working, but then eventually elections, uh, as far as you are concerned, did hold. But then, what was your own uh, response towards the problems that uh, were experienced, especially with the logistics yeah, yeah, at the, the various the polling e units? The e of finally instructed that those areas, the card reader are not working. They can go ahead manual. That solves a lot of problems. Do you have any idea what the percentage is of the people who voted using card readers and those who voted without card readers using manual accreditation? Well, the ANEC did according to the instruction, and uh, so far as the agents are there, the whole party have their agents. Those don't have their card, but the car machine are not working. They were accredited and they vote accordingly. They have the accreditation done, they have the voting done and they cast their vote. All the agents had their worship. So it was peacefully conducted in the state. You know, of course, I ask agents. this 
I ask this question because part of the allegation that the governor made and his way of proving his allegation is saying that the proof is in the card readers that were never used and that if, if, if um, voting had indeed taken place, then he's asking the PDP to produce the card readers that were used to accredit the voters that um, actually uh, voted in these elections. Well, the media were part of the election. The police was part of the election. So the media went around, including channels, so they can justify that so many areas they covered. They can see those machines working. In some areas that did not work, they also followed the leather principle of the INEC. We follow to the rules, we play to the rules of INEC. Uh -huh. The governor has no right to be an employer in the election he's partaking. So he cannot order any electoral officer on what to do. They have their guidelines and they are following the guidelines. You cannot go to your own unit because you just that you cannot win. You are not ordered to stop accreditation because they don't touch it. They instantly, the worship was provided and showed to him. He was afraid to go into election. Actually, he was not willing and ready for the election. In a regional state, election went peacefully. The areas, some areas that the election had a little inch, that who I say, you can go to Gokana, one of our candidates, one of our supporters, we are almost killed. His house was burnt down. His cars were burnt down. His situation was burnt down. Doom, then, did that. He narrowly escaped death. Even as a dad, they are complaining. But you did say earlier that there were no incidents as, uh, incidences of violence. I said, apart from one or two few places, River State is 23 local government, and only one place, one incident, caused by Magnus Abe and his cohort. I said it. All right. You did agree that uh, there were cases of uh, itches with, uh, in terms of logistics provided by INEC. Uh, would you uh, say that in the absence of uh, a material like result sheet, the election is properly conducted? Well, I may not say this excellent, but INEC performed creatively very well in his state. It's part of the little challenges I've mentioned. It was fair. All right. So if, you, if some people in the state, voters, are saying that it is not acceptable to them, what would you say? Uh, anybody who is not of a election, a loser will always say that the battle is not yet finished. Normally, you can only expect from a loser. But if results the haven't been... If results have, and, and have not been time. counted, okay. collated, and, um, and announced, why are you so confident that you've won these polls? I'm talking about um, uh, uh, Mr. Rotibi Amechi and his party that, as losers. Well, to me, if you prepare for exam very well, after writing an exam, without even waiting for the results, you can be rest assured. PPT River State is prepared for us who are going to all the nuns and cronies of River State to campaign. We have said it time with time number that we are ready for this election any day, any time. Even as they are still collecting and not around the announce, I am very sure by the social use of God that PDP, any day, any time, will win River State. Right. River State is for PDP and PDP is River State. That is why I'm sounding so confident. So, Pr Prince Obua, if uh, tomorrow morning the commission announces that the election didn't actually, uh, is not concluded, would you, allow, uh, would you accept a reconduct of that, uh, of that poll? I have said any day, any time. If the result is cancelled in River State 100 times, and the election is repeated 100 times, PDP will win River State 100 times. PDP is River State, River State is PDP. Well then, uh, I might say, um, I find your confidence very intriguing, but at this point, Prince Obua will have to let you go. Thank you very much for... Uh, giving us that perspective of the election in River State. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. That was uh, Prince Felix Obua, the chairman of the People's Democratic Party in uh, River State. Yeah, I mean, what I find a bit intriguing about these conversations that we've had with both um, Mr. Rotubi Amici and um, the PDP chairman is that... Uh, 
Anak is in a bit of a rock and a hard place here. Absolutely. Because the evidence that the governor is saying will show voting didn't take place, from all indications, it doesn't exist. Because in a large part of River State, based on what we've heard, it was manual accreditation. And therefore, how do you prove that there was no accreditation if the accreditation was manual? And uh, that now becomes uh, rather sinister that, I mean, why do we have uh, such a very high percentage of the failure of card weavers in uh, one particular state? I mean, that's one question we actually need to uh, look yeah, into. It's the we conundrum that I think INEC has to look at. Yeah, yeah I mean, I agree with you, Kadira, because at the end of the day, what led to the Brigadier General asking the governor to leave the, the polling center is another question. Yeah. Because if uh, it hasn't gotten to a point of a stalemate or something that has uh, perhaps led to, I mean, resulted into the issue of, uh, uh, of uh, disagreement, the Brigadier General will perhaps not have asked the governor to leave. So there is a lot of issues here. We are not there. The governor was there. Media was there. But from the video that we saw, uh, the, the, it's so obvious that something went wrong. But and at and the end of the day, we, we, Emmanuel, this doesn't surprise us, does it? Because it, no, no, really, it, it, we've been not, expecting exactly. that Rivers was, was going to happened. be a very, very contentious it's state it's from bed, all yeah. indications. Yes, so this is One not thing a surprise. Our, our correspondent, Emmanuel Ere, did uh, point out earlier on was that uh, when he actually went to speak with the uh, INEC uh, commissioner, the resident electoral commissioner of uh, INEC in River State, that she was visibly agitated, she was visibly disturbed, and she was visibly upset, especially when it came to the issue of uh, the non-availability of the result sheets. And then, of course, uh, the governor also did say that when he called her to complain about the non-availability of the result sheets, she said, no, there are result sheets. And put the phone down. And you know, cut, uh, cut the phone on him, mm. you know. And uh, well, the question is, if there were result sheets, where did they go? Uh, because I mean, uh, some of the things that we saw, uh, like in um, a place like Olo area in Ikeja, Lagos, where I visited, uh, th there's such a case where they were asking for result sheets in a similar manner, mm. and uh, they were told that um, robbers were laid those uh, who were bringing the resource sheets. So similar things uh, happened in some parts of the country. And if um, things didn't go wrong, for example, nobody will be asked to, do, to go into manual accreditation mode. And a lot of things would have gone wrong. And in River State, what I'm trying to say is that River State is not an isolated uh, case. Yes. Because similar, um, it's a lot of things. Take, for example, Jigawa State not only in several federal constituency elections in hold. Same thing in, uh, in parts of Delta State. Same thing in, uh, in, in some uh, parts of Taraba State. So a lot of things happened that uh, perhaps INEC didn't envisage. They perhaps envisaged that the card reader malfunction, and they said, okay, incident forms are available, and we can go into manual accreditation. But the fact that resource sheet I cannot fathom me because at I the mean, end I, of the I day... I listened to Jega actually um, talking about the situation in Jigawa, and the way he put it was like, for reasons that we don't understand, you know, um, voting materials were not available. And I, I kind of started thinking, well, what does he mean for, <laughs> for reasons we don't understand? We don't understand <laughs> you know, for reasons we can't... Because, I mean, but, 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 well, did someone I, take the... Do you know, didn't you make provisions for extras? Guess what? You know why I'm not surprised? There were, in the run-up to this election, there were situations where um, ca uh, PVCs belonging to a certain state in the south was found, found in the north. another state. And so if that can happen, when they discharge PVCs from Abuja to a certain state and it's found in another state mm. several kilometers away, that means anything can happen. Mm. So 